Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about TAPSI or tricuspid annular plane systolic excursion and it's a measure of the right ventricular ejection fraction and it closely co correlates with the systolic function of the right ventricle. So before I go into TAPSI, I just wanted to explain how the ventricle contracts. So say this is the ventricle, um, there is the longitudinal contraction of the ventricle where um, um, the fibers longitudinally contract and then there is the radial contraction of the ventricles where the fibers radially contract so it's like a donut that is narrowing and then the third motion in which the ventricle kind of contracts is the circumferential motion so um, in that case the the ventricle kind of contracts in a ringing fashion so there are three ways that the ventricle contracts um, for the lv systolic function we look at the ejection fraction of the heart but for the rv systolic function we look at tapsy so the the way we measure tapsy is actually a measure of the longitudinal shortening of the right, right ventricular fibers so how do we do this so we use the apical four chamber view so if this is the echocardiogram we have the right ventricle here the left ventricle here and then some what of a shadow of the right and left atrium then um we use m mode doppler to kind of measure the how much the tricuspid annulus kind of shortens during systole so when you do an m mod doppler you will see the tricuspid annulus kind of having these kinds of waves um and then you measure um the descent or the excursion from um from the highest point and that's tapsy um and that's pretty much it so in in patients with rv dysfunction or pulmonary hypertension um, the tapsy will decrease and in normal patients it will have the normal contraction but if the patient has rv dysfunction then the tricuspid annulus shortening will not be there so i hope you learned something today stay awesome